Well, Leslie, I know you were one of his favorites as well. You know, we've been talking about this Iowa State defense. They are returning six starters, all of whom earned some sort of Big 12 mm -hmm. nod for their play. It's really incredible. Uh, Brian Baldinger, a uh, um, former offensive lineman in the NFL, one of the best in the game. You have been really fascinating me talking about this new defense mm -hmm. that Matt Campbell and the Iowa State guys are running called a double cloud D. Mm -hmm. Explain what this is. Well, John Haycock is their defense coordinator. And about halfway through the season, they were just struggling with injuries and depth. And they went from a four-man front to a three-man front, uh, so three defensive linemen. But this double cloud, they're outside linebackers that you typically have in a 3 4 type defense. They were very, they had a lot of flexibility. You know, and so they like a guy like Willie Harvey, where he could be a rusher, he could be in pass coverage, he could defend the run. There's all kinds of things that he could do, and they were able to do that because they were clouded by a safety over the top or a corner outside of them. So they were kind of freelancers, and it really gave teams a lot of problems, Jen. And I saw where Texas, they changed from a four-man front to a three-man front. West Virginia, they've been, Tony Gibson has been doing that at West Virginia for a while now. So I think it's a trend that may catch fire in the Big 12. It may be in other places because it really kind of eliminates that quick game of the bubble screens and the fly sweeps and some of those type plays that we are see so prevalent in the Big 12. It's going to be fun to watch. It's always uh, good to see the new trends coming on board and keeping up with it. All right, let me switch gears to the other side of the ball with you, Baldy. Um, this Big 12 conference has three 1,000-yard rushers returning for this season. The ground game really could be at a peak here in this conference this season. Well, if you look at what Rodney Anderson did, you know, in the Rose Bowl last year against Georgia, I mean, he ran for over 200 yards. It was his best game. You know, he was coming off a broken neck, so he got off to a slow start but finished really strong and Oklahoma returns three all Big 12 offensive linemen and so you know Baker Mayfield is gone but they have two really good backs led by Rodney Anderson there at Oklahoma and if you just keep going down Justin Sills obviously at, at uh, Oklahoma State what a year that he had last year and then you know obviously what they have at Iowa State right now uh, is 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 really phenomenal with David Montgomery and his ability to break tackles and uh, you know even Matt Campbell said yesterday Jen that he said for the first time in his three years at Iowa State that he's going to march out a real offensive line, which only bodes well for Montgomery. They had such a good season last year. You hope they can build upon it. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, look, I think Iowa State is for real. I mean, we, we heard Matt Campbell yesterday. You talked to him yesterday. Um, he has a plan. And when you beat Oklahoma and TCU, right, in back-to-back -back weeks last year, that's not, that's not a fluke. You don't beat Lincoln and, you know, Gary Patterson the way they did last year and not be for real. And so they believe in Ames, Iowa right now. It's going to be fun to watch. Yeah. Brian Baldinger, we will see you on the call for several of these games, and we certainly appreciate your Thanks, input Jim. today. Leslie, we'll send it back over to you.